Hey guys, I wanted to show you how you can get a Halo-like experience using the Exposed Framework. Now, if you don't know what the Exposed Framework is, I've included a link in the description which shows you what it is and how to get it. But it's basically going to give you the ability to have Halo on your device without having to install a custom ROM like Paranoid Android or any other custom ROM. So I'm doing this on my Nexus 5, it has the stock Android 4.4.2 ROM on, the only difference is it has the exposed framework. So yeah, here we go. So the first thing you'll need to do is download the module. So head over to the exposed installer, click on the download section, and you're looking for Xhalo floating window. Now you can see I've already got mine installed and this installs like any other module, so make sure you activate it and then do a reboot. If we tap into this, you've got stuff like the features, the uh, change logs, and the compatibility. Now, it should work on most devices, but you can see it says here this module is known to have some compatibility issues with Samsung TouchWiz ROM, so take that into account. If you have any other questions, send them to the uh, support thread here. They may be able to help you out. And that's it, you're ready to go. So now that you have this module installed, what this is gonna allow you to do is have the floating window. What it's not gonna allow you to do is have that little halo bubble. So you won't actually get a little bubble that pops out when you get a notification. All this allows you to do is have a floating window. So what I mean by that is if we force a notification here, normally in a custom ROM with Halo, you'll see a little bubble pop up and you can activate your notification from there. That won't happen with just this module. All it allows you to do is tap and hold and you can see open in Halo here. You've got that little window and it is the fully functioning app just like the custom ROMs have. You can even go back here and you can dismiss it just by pressing anywhere else on the screen. And we'll talk about the little bubble in a second, but firstly, if you dive into your app drawer, go all the way to the bottom, you'll see a new app called X Halo Floating Window. This just gives you loads of different options. For example, you can change the transparency of the window, the background dimming of the pop-up, and where the pop-up actually comes up. So the default is center, you can change that to top left or any one of these. You've also got the pop-up size, which you can uh, resize it. This is something you couldn't do on custom ROMs. You can actually resize the window. So you can see the width here is 95%. We'll pull this down to around 60. If we then activate this window, you'll see it's a lot skinnier. So it's pretty cool that you can uh, you can customize that. We'll leave that back at stock values. Pop-up behavior, this allows you to change whether the background app pauses in the background. You can make the keyboard scale, and you've got some other options here as well. And you also have movable and resizable. Now, if you turn this on, you can actually resize the window on the fly. It's a little bit kind of weird to get used to, but it does work. You can see once that's turned on, you can actually move this around. And if you tap the sides, it's kind of tricky to do, but you can, there we go, resize it. And you can see you can get kind of half the screen. You can use the other half for something else. So that is pretty cool there. And yeah, now what you're probably wondering is where's the little bubble and how do you get it? Because that's one of the main things to Halo. Now, what you'll need is the application called Floating Notifications and it works in conjunction with that module we just installed. So once you've got this application installed, if you dive into the settings, you'll notice an option for launch apps in Halo window supported ROMs only. This is something we can use now thanks to that module we just installed. So if we activate this, and then go back. And by the way, guys, this app has loads of different customizations that even the real Halo doesn't have. You can actually customize the size, the way it fades, the way it docks, the way the notifications actually come through. There's loads of different customizations you can check and you can actually see which different applications you want to get notifications for. So let's actually test this out now. We'll force a notification. And boom, there you go, you can see it's already faded and you can move this around just like you could the other Halo if you put it in the corner, you can see it docks, you can change how much it even docks and how much the fade happens. And let's just tap this once, tap it again, and there you go, you can see it's opened it in that little window just like Halo would on a custom ROM. So pretty awesome there, this does work inside other applications as well, so we'll try it inside Twitter. There you go, the little... Uh, Little thing has popped up there. Tap it once to see what the uh, what it's about and then tap it again and you can see it opens up. You can do anything here, you can share stuff, you can do pretty much anything you could with the normal gallery app. And then you can go back to Twitter. So I thought I'd just test this out in a game to see if the uh, application in the background actually paused. I don't think I've got it set to pause, but we'll just see. So again, we'll force a screenshot. That's the only thing I can do right now for a notification. And there it is, the little bubble. You can move that around, you can have it all the way on the side, you can see it docks. If we tap it once, it tells you what's going on. If we tap it again, it opens up the gallery. And you can see it is still going on in the background. You can hear it and you can also see it. You can change the dim settings if you don't want it to be this dim. 
and then you can go back to your game. So that does work. If you do actually get a notification through and you don't want the bubble, but you can see the bubble there when it actually appears. If you want to get rid of that bubble without it being on the screen now, you can just double tap it and it'll disappear. So it does work. It works really well and it gives you the ability to have a Halo-like experience on the stock ROM. So yeah, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.